In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp message to contacts added in MySQL automatically. So whenever a new contact is added to your MySQL database, I will show you how to automatically send a WhatsApp message to the very same recent contact. Want to learn how you can also automate the WhatsApp messaging process? Then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is my MySQL where I have created a table with the name new contacts and as soon as a new contact is added here in this table, an automated WhatsApp message will be sent to the same contact something like this. Thank you for submitting the form. Hello demo user. We have received your details and all the details of the user will be attached here automatically. So for sending such kind of WhatsApp messages, I will use this AI Sensei application which is an amazing application because it has the access of official API of WhatsApp and you will have to firstly create an account in AI Sensei and what else you will have to do I'll explain you everything in the video okay and to automate this whole WhatsApp texting process you will have to build a connection in MySQL application and in this AI Sensei application and which I am going to do with the help of a software called as Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I'm already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I'm providing the name something like send WhatsApp message to contacts added in my sql okay and after that i will select the folder in which i would like to create this workflow now i am clicking on create and after that two boxes will appear so these boxes are actually called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that whenever any new contact is added in this my sql application then automatically send a whatsapp message to the very same contact via ai sensi application and now the idea here is firstly i will connect my mysql with the pabli connect and will capture all the contact details here then i will connect to pabli connect with the ai sensi okay so let us first connect my sql with the pabli connect so firstly you will have to select the trigger even that is whenever a new row is added in a table so yes i want to perform the same now clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and here you will have to provide the database username the database password and the host database and port okay example for the same are already given here okay so once you will provide all these details simply click on save and this is how your my sql account will be immediately connected with the public connect and because i have provided this access multiple times so i am going to reuse those existing connection okay so i am clicking on save directly because again i am using the existing connection clicking on save and this is how my my sql account will be immediately connected with Pabli connect and if you want you can also use the existing connection but at the first time you will have to make sure that you provide the access okay and here you can notice because we are connected whatever the tables are available inside my my sql account have started visible here okay so i'll show you all the tables here so currently i have around uh, five to six tables that is facebook leads new contacts shopify shopify orders okay and the same tables you can find here and now i am going to select that specific table which i would like to connect connect with the AI Sensei okay so I want that whenever any new contact is added in this specific table this automation should trigger or we can say the data should be captured via Pabli connect or we can also say the message should be sent to the very same contact okay and in the unique column ID well here we have how many columns I will have to check okay so here we have the contact ID the first name last name email mobile number and uh, date and time okay so so how about I select the email ID only okay and now I'll click on this button and you will notice whatever the most recent contact has been
been added to my table the response of that contact will be received here as a response okay let me show you currently we have a single contact only and the same contact information is added here okay now i will add a new contact here and then i'll click on this button once again and in this way i can actually capture the most recent contact here in the pavli connected dashboard all right so here you can notice i have recently added this dummy user at pavlitutes.com contact and the name of the user is dummy user and this is just a dummy phone number okay and now i'll click on this button once again and you will see once again the most recent contact details will be captured as a response in our dashboard all right it has not captured i'll have to click on this button once again give me a minute all right so here you can notice the same contact information has been captured captured as a response and it is the same the email address the same phone number the same first name last name and the contact id okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between my sql and pavli connect is working absolutely fine so now onwards what will happen every time a new row is added or you can say a new contact is added in my sql the details will be captured via pavli connect in every one hour because this trigger will check for the new data in one hour basically the trigger here is the polling based which is going to fetch the information every hour okay but don't worry about that your data will surely be arrived okay so in this way the first step of our workflow for automation is done now moving further i am going to send a whatsapp message to the very same contact automatically okay so here we have a dummy phone number for sending the whatsapp messages so i will delete this number basically i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number and then i'll show you how messages will be received okay so coming back to the dashboard of pavli connect moving further so the application of sending the whatsapp message is already selected now i will select the action even that is send template message and just like we have built a connection in mysql and pavli connect now i will build a connection in ai sensei and pavli connect for which you will have to provide an api key okay so how you can get this api key directly click on this manage section and then you will find the api key here exactly okay here you can notice one api key is already generated so i am going to reuse this api key in case you want to generate the new you can click on this button and generate your api key okay so coming back let me paste the same here clicking on save and this is how my mysql application will be immediately connected with the pavli connect okay and because we are connected it is asking for several details which are actually required for sending any kind of whatsapp message okay firstly it is asking for the campaign name well i will explain you this campaign name later firstly we will discuss this mobile number so you tell me from where i'm going to provide this mobile number remember i have already captured the details as a response of our previous step of our trigger step okay so i am going to map this data yes the interesting thing is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste below again and again i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down so let me search for the very same data basically very same phone number and here currently i am adding this dummy number but i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number now moving further it is asking for the username well username is going to be the name of the contact only so here i have the first name as dummy so i have mapped it giving a space and now i will map the last name as well okay so in this way you can map all the details now you must be thinking what is the importance of mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time and whatever the details we are going to provide manually okay those details will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so moving further asking for the source and tag so i am leaving it blank or you can also fill something like website leads or contacts okay asking for the template parameter the most interesting part because from here we are going to provide the values to our parameter now you must be thinking what is this value i am actually talking about and what is this parameter okay so whenever you are sending the messages using official api or whatsapp you will always have to create a template messages first once that template is created you will have to submit it for the approval 
once that template is submitted after that you will have to wait for the approval and basically the parent company of whatsapp that is meta is going to approve that template okay and if that template is approved you will be able to find your template here in this particular way that is approved okay i have already created one template with the name send message to form submitters okay and this is an approved template and this is the message i have created now you must be thinking how you can create your template for your own use okay so there is a button provided here click on this plus a new button okay and here by filling out the details you can actually create your new template okay so firstly you will have to select any random category okay let's say i selected the category as marketing then template language again random language okay i am selecting english as the language asking for the template name provide anything here as per your requirement asking for the template type so because i want to send the text only i have selected the same asking for the header text so whatever you will write Right here will be visible from the right hand side asking for the format so again whatever you will write here you will be able to see it in the preview and from here exactly you can actually compose your message okay and i would recommend you to read these instructions as well that you can use this basically this asterisk sign in order to bold your content and again the footer and buttons are optional for this template okay and once that template is ready simply submit it for the approval and after that you will also have to provide the sample content well sample content is nothing but just a dummy content a sample content which will come in place of the variables now what are the variables okay so whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you can add those values in the form of variables basically the numbers packed with the curly braces are called as variables so let's say i want that the name of user should appear here so that is why i have kept that value in the form of variable okay so in this way you can create your template now i'll show you my template and the name of my template is actually send form uh, i'll have to actually check give me a second send message on the form submission okay so here you can notice i have added four variables in total so what values will come in place of these variables we will provide the values basically from here okay so simply provide the value to the first variable which is of course going to be the name of the person okay so simply add that name simply map that detail and after that simply put a comma and then you can provide the value to the second variable also from here only which is going to be the name of the person okay so how about i add the name once again okay i'm really sorry i will have to do the search here that to uh, with the dummy okay giving a space and again i will map the last name of the person after that again i will add a comma and will provide provide the value to my third as well as to the fourth variable which is the email address and the phone number so again i have mapped it at both the places okay lastly we have the phone number okay so in this way the values will be added in place of those variables automatically and again these values will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time so i think i have provided all the important details asking for the attributes url and and file name okay so if you are sending some image or video you can add the url of that file here and then further you can provide the name of the file from here and remember i have told you initially that i will tell you how to create a campaign name okay so going back to the dashboard of ai sensei and firstly you will have to visit your sidebar because here only you will find the option of campaign now you just need to click on this launch button and after that select this api campaign and then you will find the details okay simply provide any random campaign name and after that you will have to select the template of which you have already received the approval okay so in this way by clicking on the set live button you can create a new launch basically a new campaign okay so going back to the dashboard of pably connect and here first of all i will add the campaign name which is i'll have to check give me a second all right so this is my campaign name that is sending whatsapp text to form submitters okay so give me a second let me exactly copy the same and paste below in place of the campaign name 
all right so i have added the same name i will also have to remove this extra refresh okay so how about i click on this button well i'm really sorry i will have to replace that dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number okay so give me a second let me do that all right so i have provided my genuine whatsapp number clicking on this button save and send test request and i'm really expecting and that once again a positive response will be received and this time i'm really expecting the message and here you can notice the message is already arrived okay thank you for submitting the form hello dummy did you notice how the name of user appeared automatically thank you for submitting the form we have received your detail the detail are as follows and here we have the same name the same email and the same phone number okay someone from our team will contact you shortly will call you sh shortly i'm really sorry thanks team pabli okay so in this way with the help of pabli connect you can build a connection in my sql and ai sensei application and automate the process of sending the whatsapp messages to your new contacts which are getting added in my sql application and to automate this whole process you need to create this workflow inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video